there's barely enough room for the students in Tom Clark's classroom. This looks like a hat from Afghanistan. Yes, it is. Here's another one from Afghanistan. Here's a Russian helmet with bullet holes in it. It's yeah. like a museum in here. Well, it, it, it is, and, or it looks like a garage sale. You know? <laughs> if it's a museum, his students have been its curators for 27 years. Uh, I want you to look over these files. Each and semester, this teacher at Lake Central, Central High School in St. John, okay. Indiana, hands out names of troops from his state who died at war and assigns students to find their families. We're putting a story behind their names. They, they are no longer just names, they are people. They had lives, they went to school, they had friends, they had feelings. How many families have your students talked with? <sighs> Hundreds. Did you ever care about history before this class? Honestly, no. I was just kind of one of the people that were like, um, like it's just in the past. Victoria Morales was one of Clark's students last year. She was assigned to find the family of Army Specialist Matthew Franz. Franz was killed in 2006 by a roadside bomb in Iraq. For years, his mother Marilyn could barely speak about it. After a while, she was just willing to like talk and show me different awards and video clips of Matthew. And we stayed for a few hours and I was watching. I was like, wow, like it was pretty moving. <laughs> Morales was so moved that she kept in touch with Mrs. Franz after the class ended. The Franzes were more than happy to share. For me, it keeps Matthew alive a little bit. How so? Because when I talk about him, it's like he's still here. Within 24 hours, all four of them were killed. Tom Clark, who served in Afghanistan, doesn't test his students on the information they collect. His mission is bigger than that. Instead of just memorizing it, they learn to feel history, to feel what America's all about. It's about the collection of stories and sacrifices that have helped shape a nation. Seth Doan, CBS News, St. John, Indiana.